The Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Basic and Secondary Education, Louis Moses Mendy, acknowledged that peanut products are an essential component of the food basket developed by the school feeding unit of his ministry, in consultation with partners like the National Nutrition Agency. Mendy went down memory lane and recalled the genesis of the school feeding program, which was started by the World Food Program in the 1970s, initially as food aid and later food assistance. He delved into the program's evolution into its current status to become an essential social protection service in the school system and one of the country's most vibrant social safety nets. Veterans of the education system will also agree with me that even without formal research, school feeding served as a pool and anchor factor and by this I mean it encourages enrollment and retention in the school system. This has been proven by scientific research with further confirmation that these nutritious meals also enhance the cognitive ability of the children. The target age group is the most critical in the children's holistic development. At which stage any deficiency will be irreparable. Most importantly, and sad to stay, for most children, this nutritional meal containing the vital and critical elements of their growth and development is found and served at only one place in the community, the school, and it is the school hot meal. Permanent Secretary Mendy thanked Gambia Diaspora Experts Initiative for partnering with his ministry, calling it a prudent decision, and added, through the partnership, the initiative would be able to reach more beneficiaries. The liaison officer, Gambia Diaspora Experts Initiative, Kenneth Money, spoke at length about the rationale behind the formation of the initiative, its aims and objectives, as well as the commitment of the membership to creating jobs and national development aspirations. It is in that regard that when we learned about the opportunity for a large donation of peanut butter from the 8th Avenue Food Company in Alabama, USA, we immediately thought of the Gambia's school feeding program. With Mopsy's assistance, we were able to deliver the shipment and for onward distribution to schools. Although the school feeding program was bankrolled almost entirely by the World Food Program for over four decades, Catholic Relief Services jumped onto the bandwagon in 2022 after securing funding from the U.S. Department of Agriculture. A staggering 486 schools are benefiting from that intervention. The school feeding in the Gambia is everybody's business, so we all have a role to play. So it is very laudable that GEI has been part of that journey to support the school feeding landscape because the next beneficiary could be us and our children and these are the future leaders of the country. The country director of Catholic Relief Services, Dr. Ablai Touré, called the donation by Gambia Diaspora Experts Initiative timely and revealed CRS is on the verge of procuring 260 metric tons of peanut butter for distribution to schools. Francis Mendy, GRTS.